Hey art friends, welcome to today's how to. Today we'll be learning how to draw Bluey as a vampire. So first let's get started on the left hand side and we're going to start by drawing in a nice big oval for our left eye. In the center now we're going to draw in another oval for the pupil of the eye. For the nose now we're going to curve this line over and across. And then from that point, we're just going to curve this line back around and then in. From here now, we're going to curve this line over and then up. And then we're going to draw in a curved line on the top, closing that off. For the nose now, we're going to arch this line around and then in towards the middle. And then starting back on this line, we're going to curve this line around back up. From here now, we're going to draw in a sideways oval for the nose. For the right eye now, we're going to curve this line all the way around and then in. And then for the pupil of the eye, we're going to arch the sign around and then down. For the vampire teeth now, we're going to draw two small letter V's on the left and right hand side. Closing off the mouth, we're going to curve this line out, in, and then back up underneath the eye. And then moving over to the left, we'll replicate that again one more time. Now let's draw on the eyebrows. On the top, we're going to curve this line down on the diagonal, and we'll move over on the left and replicate that. Closing the rest of that off now, we're going to curve this line back around and then in. And then we'll do the same thing on the left hand side. Now let's draw on a curved line from left to right. On the left hand side, we're going to arch this line out and then back down. And then to the right of that, we'll replicate that again. On the top, we're going to curve this line in. And then we'll do the same thing on the left hand side as well. Let's move underneath and draw in a curved line from left to right. And then we'll do the same thing on the left hand side, arching that around and then up. Now on a diagonal, we're going to bring this line up for the ear. And then leaving a gap on the left hand side, we'll bring another diagonal line that comes up. To the right of this now, we're going to bring this diagonal line down. And then we'll do the same thing on the left hand side. And then now on the inside, we'll replicate that shape. Now in the middle, we're going to draw in a curved line from left to right. On the left hand side, we're going to bring this line out and then up. And then we'll do the same thing over on the right. And then now we're going to close this off in the middle with a curved line from left to right. On the top, we're going to draw in a curved line that comes up. And then to the right of that, we're going to arch this line around and then back up again. On both sides now, we're going to curve this line up and over towards the side. Coming underneath again, we're going to curve this line around and then down. And then from the top here, we're just going to curve this line back around and then in at a point. Now let's draw on the rest of the cloak. So coming down on the side, we're going to curve this line around and then down. And then moving over towards the left, let's replicate that as well. Let's step further out now and we're going to curve this line around and then down. And again, we'll replicate this over on the left. And we're just going to make sure that we end this at roughly at the same height. Now from that point again, we're going to curve this line up and over. And then we'll do the same thing over on the left hand side. Let's draw on the torso now. So on the left, we're going to curve this line around and then in towards the middle. And then to the right of that, we're going to bring this line down, back in, connecting that together on the bottom. Now let's draw a straight line that comes up on both sides. 
Let's draw on our hands and our arms now. So for the thumb, we're gonna curve this line around and then up, drawing in the letter U. For the first finger, we're gonna curve this line around and then in. And then we're just gonna draw in a small straight line that comes across. Moving back in again, we're gonna curve this line around and then in. And then again, one more time, curving this line around and then up. Let's draw in the legs now. So on the inside, we're going to draw in two straight lines that come down. And then stepping further out, let's replicate that again one more time. Now from here, we're gonna curve this line around and then in. And then stepping out again, we're gonna arch this line around and then down. And then now we're gonna close this off on the bottom with a curved line from left to right. In the middle now for the toes, we're just gonna curve these lines in towards each other. And then moving further up, we're gonna draw in a curved line from left to right. Let's close off the rest of the cloak now coming in. So on both sides, we're gonna arch this line around and then down. And then from that point again, we're just gonna curve this line over. And then in the middle, drawing in another curved line from left to right. And that is it, that's how you draw Vampire Bluey. You can pause the video and color it the way that I have done, or you can change your colors up if you'd like. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel and also drop a comment below suggesting any more characters that you'd love to learn to draw next. Thanks so much for joining me on today's tutorial and I will see you all in the next one.